Good morning guys, this is Angel and you're watching Angel's Way of Adventure and today we are going to make a 3D eye for our lures. It's a DIY and it looks like this. Actually, I made a lot of it and I'm gonna show you how I made it and the materials that I use for it. So, bear with First, we need a lot of materials for that like this double-sided tape we need that this hole puncher it's supposed to be a round one a tweezer so that we can pick it up cotton buds and some pokey things and then a little box for our storage and a two parts epoxy and the most important thing is this luminous sheet it's not luminous, it's 3D sheet. Let me correct that. And a scissor. Okay, let's start it. Oh no, there's a deco art paint. I forgot about it. And first, I'm going to put a double sided tape on the 3D <clears throat> holographic sheet. Yes, I remind myself, it's a holographic sheet. I'm just gonna put a double sided tape on it so that when I punch it we get a tape to put it on our lure. I'm just gonna cut a length long for the holographic uh, sheet. And I'm gonna stick it at the back of it. But I'm not gonna remove the other protective uh, sheet for the double sided tape because we are using it later like so and then I'm just gonna cut that portion of the holographic sheet. Because uh, we can make a lot of uh, 3D eye out of these strips. It will depend on the diameter of your eyes that you're going to make. When I'm going to make a 5mm 3D eye for my lures. Uh, because uh, that's the standard eyes that I'm using for my lures. And... I'm only gonna use a simple paint with it, uh, black, uh, black eyes like that one for the pupil and then just punch a hole and store it on the little box. You just make it punch it like that then you create a perfect circle using the puncher punch as many as you want for your lures because in the near future if you're using uh, making a lure you can use it you can just pick it up and put it in your lure let's speed up the process I'm making a lot of things because uh, I made a lot of lures. I'm preparing for this coming season for the striped bass and also for the salmon. That's why I'm making a lot of ice, 3D ice for this lure. I hope I can make a lot of it, but let's see. It is pretty perfect hole when you're using a puncher like that. That's a lot for me. And let's speed it up. Yeah, I finish up poking a hole in this. Just gonna remove it in your puncher. That's a lot of ice. 
that I'm going to make. It's pretty hard to remove. I should remove that uh, catcher, but it's a uh, helpful thing. Now we got a lot of pattern for our 3D eye. I'm just gonna stick a double sided tape on this piece of plastic sheet and then I'm gonna put our pattern in there. It will serve as a holder so that it won't move around because it's a uh, pretty small pieces just put a double sided tape enough to hold all your uh, pattern soon to be eyes like that and just randomly place one by one on the double sided tape that you put on the piece of plastic sheet it's a lot of work but it's fun to do when you don't have anything to do you can make it a pastime speedy speedy I like that speed the process up and that's it <clears throat> it will hold the holographic uh, pattern that we made it's not gonna move around and these cotton buds we're gonna cut it we only need the uh, stick uh, you need to cut it flat because we're gonna use it for our painting yeah, cut this in there. Uh, it's pretty flat. I like it. And then, this is our paint for the eyeball. I'm only making a black uh, eyeballs for this one. You can make a uh, different kind of colors like yellow, green, or red. It depends upon on what you are going to make so that your lure will uh, a uniform with your 3D eye. And what I'm going to do is just uh, put this stick of the cotton buds and put it one by one in each pattern just a very small dot on the center you don't need to make it a lot bigger because it will appear a bigger eyeball when you put an epoxy after that you need to be very careful with this you need a steady hand but mine are shaky but i managed to do it you don't need to be very precise with it because some of the eyeballs are broken eyeballs or scratch eyeballs like that you don't need to be very precise or centered just randomly put it like what i did now it's just a flat holographic with the dot in the center like that it's pretty cool actually now what i'm going to do is mix some epoxy using this very little scoop two parts epoxy i'm using the epoxy that is used for making tables because uh, it's not too sticky and you can work a long time with it never use a fast drying epoxy the five minutes or 30 minutes don't use it because it will harden too fast you cannot uh, work with it 
because you need a long time just putting the epoxy one by one on each uh, 3d eyes with it i'm gonna measure it because i only need uh, a little portion of the epoxy you don't need a lot just 0.6 grams of each uh, part and then I'm gonna use a sharp stick I forgot about that one yeah, it's only 0.6 grams one part of it it's only 1.2 grams or 2 grams if you want to make it a little bit harder uh, put a lot of hardener with it Oopsie, that's it. It's pretty helpful when you have a barbecue stick or a pointed stick to put the epoxy on each pattern of your 3D eye. Don't worry about spilling it out because uh, the epoxy will uh, uh, stop at the edge of the uh, round uh, pattern it will never spill out it depends when you poke it uh, on the side yeah you need to use a very sharp stick pointed not sharp pointed stick just mix it and make sure there's no bubbles with it but don't worry about it because uh, after you put the epoxy on each piece you can just pop up the bubbles using the uh, lighter or any kind of torch to pop out the bubbles so that the 3d eye will be shiny just make sure you are putting on the right direction start on the left side going to the right so that your hands will never touch the one that you already done with it I'm just gonna flatten this plastic so that the epoxy won't go out of the pattern that we made just a little help or our tools so that it will be flattened just one drop or add a little more and make it a little round like this like what I'm doing to position the epoxy at the edge of each pattern like that it's a lot of work but if you mastered it it will be easy steady hand will be very much helpful but mine it's a little bit shaky hand but I still manage to do it one by one be careful and then just add a little bit of epoxy if you're not satisfied with it now it is finished as you can see now it's not flat it's almost half round or rounded this is the result of it with the epoxy and i make it with my lure i put like that one
it is pretty you can make uh, different colors of it or multiple color like that but the background is holographic you can make that also because some eyes i have a multiple color or just different kind of colors mine i always use a uh, black because it resembles even on the other kind of fish so i hope you guys enjoy the video and can subscribe or thumbs up like a comment below to support my channel and thank you for watching i hope you enjoy it and once again this is angel and i'm out